Hi Capricorns, welcome in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot and this is going to be your reading for the week. Right, let's see what messages we have for Capricorn. Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Capricorn. Of course, reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. This may not be a reading entirely, right? Messages. And if you feel like connecting with me, the link is in the description box for Instagram. We can have a lot of chit chat there, right? Capricorn. Okay. Hermit with the Six of Swords, Capricorn. What are you thinking about, right? Some deep thoughts, some deep uh, questions on your mind. Probably you're not able to find the answer right now about them. I see very numb energy, right? This is more like uh, the friction is already over, the clash or whatever that emotion was, that situation was, it's already over. Now you're sitting under the moon, thinking about it, looking at the sky, stars, and wondering what went wrong. What did I do wrong or what, did, what happened wrong? It's like more about thinking after the situation happened, right? It's more like moving on from something, moving away from turbulent waters, right? You still are carrying some emotions here, thoughts, a lot of thoughts I'm picking up, Capricorn, on your mind, right? I see some alone time also, some moments of isolation, personal space, sitting and working. For some of you, I also pick up that you're working on your healing right now. I see light coming in, right? And uh, whatever negative emotions were there in past, you're kind of releasing them. Some light is coming in from within, some new fire, new excitement, new energy, right? And then we have moving on energy you're trying to recover from it you're trying to heal from it but at the same time these thoughts come back right we'll clarify further we'll see what's wrong what thoughts are these and these can be opinions also right we have a flipper here just give me a second magician under the deck wonderful so we have the temperance here capricorn temperance energy again the energy of healing recovering taking a break and walking away right i see angelic presence here so whatever questions are there on your mind what I emo whatever emotional struggle is there right now i see some answers coming in and more than what comes from outside what's more important is that what is coming from within you i see soul searching energy i see recovering from some traumatic traumatic kind of energies right and i think you're healing from it and moving on temperance energy very positive shift from there from here i should say from here this things these things are changing something from your environment is changing now right and i see the magician here this is the point where you start manifesting positive things in your life i see beautiful changes coming in capricorn Okay, devil, oh, lovers, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very beautiful, right? This can be a thought about a choice in love, right? A very intense connection. Somebody you have a very deep connection with, somebody with a lot of passion is there, excitement is there, right? I see that this struggle was something related to this connection, right? There was something related to this connection which was bothering you. Let us see what next. For some of you, this can be taking a break from a very uh, saddened, situ saddening situation. And now you're moving on to some important decisions in love, right? I see intensity. I see sad energy. Gemini. We have Knight of Swords. Okay, it's like moving past it. And now something very rash is coming in. Knight of Swords energy, I think you were waiting on to some kind of conversation here, right? Whatever conversation you're waiting on to Capricorn, I think it is coming this week. You can hear from this person. You can get a message from them. Some very unexpected rash energy with the Knight of Swords. It can also be that someone is trying to rush in towards you when you're quiet and you're not available. I see that... Uh, 
this person can sense that uh, you are quite unavailable right now you're quite isolated right now and you want that uh, fire you want that passion and compassion and you're looking for it and this person is rushing towards you for some of you i'm also picking up the common friends some common media right can be facebook social media or a common link i see a common link here which is transferring the information towards this person that uh, you know capricorn is right now not in a good mood they need you and this person is rushing towards you right i see love as energy so this is some kind of divine connection very intense and divine connection and i see that uh, some information about this person or specifically this person himself or herself they might try to approach you in this time period right somebody is understanding the intensity of this connection Wow, Ten of Wands. Okay, but is it too late for them? Is it too late for them? Because I see that you're about to leave. If you are in a phase of waiting, thinking, quietly listening and trying to understand what, what's wrong, I see that you're about to pick yourself up. I see a lot of healing work going on. And uh, maybe you just simply feel like walking away, stepping away from this energy, right? I do see that they're in the path, right? Some kind of conversation, some message might show up. But you feel like leaving something. It's, a, it's the energy of departure here, right? You feel like leaving a situation, a fight, some friction, whatever was causing this friction in your emotions. I think you're trying to move away from it. Wow. <laughs> and we have the page of cups. Apologies. Are the apologies accepted? Or are you going to accept the apology this time? I see that... Mm, there's there's some kind of uh, thoughts emotions thinking about you hoping to see you that kind of energy right this can be a phase where they tried approaching you but probably you were not available and you were like i'm in my cocoon i'm not responding but ten of wands the moment you think of uh, this departure i see page of cups energy right there are a lot of emotions no doubt capricorn this can be some other situation which is bothering you because I see a lot of love and compassion from this person's side. And the gods are high. Nine of Wands. What else? Three of Swords. Yes, you're hurt. You're hurt. And this person wants to apologize for that. Something has happened and they want to apologize for that. Nine of Swords. Thinking too much. Okay, a lot of thoughts. I would like to clarify some cards. This, this is quite interesting. First of all, let's see what's the hermit. What is bothering you? What are you thinking about? What is the soul searching? Four of Cups. Not very satisfied. Three of Wands. Yes, you were waiting for something. You were waiting for something. Maybe you wanted reconciliation. Maybe you wanted uh, some kind of gathering, meeting can be that you wanted them to show up and probably they were not available at that time this can be some meeting that didn't go well some get together maybe it was a date that you were expecting and this person did not show up and you're very sad about it because you had a lot to talk about right there were a lot of important things that you wanted to discuss something happened and uh, now you're very irritated and you're draining the cups you're like Ugh, i'm not talking i don't want to accept this apology right i won't accept the apology even if it comes up right that kind of irritation and the energy and three of wands letting go letting go of something can be ego can be frustration can be any negative emotion for some of you this can be pride also right this bird flying away this is more like letting go of something right the gesture of letting go okay uh i do see some transformation at this point with the temperance energy something is going to change here what is this temperance energy for capricorn we have seven of swords two of swords and nine of pentacles okay self-sabotage or more like i'm not sure right i don't want to invest here till the time i'm sure about it something is uh, secretive here you know and uh, I think you planned on something, uh, Capricorn, or you thought of planning about something, and it causes a lot of confusion on your mind. It's like you take a step, you take the first step, you initiate something, thinking of a particular consequence, and then 
when you actually start doing it when you actually start putting in effort into it things end up in a different way things uh, there are different results that as per we did not expect so maybe that's the phase of confusion and thinking too much what went wrong what was i doing wrong or what was my plan and things are not going according to my plan that two of swords energy so this is the moment temperance energy where you are getting your power back and you're like okay i'm independent and happy right i'm single independent i don't want to invest there i don't want to go there that kind of energy but not for long because um, i see that with the lover's energy some really beautiful shift is about to happen here right we're going to clarify of course what is this shift shift and what is happening here what is this lovers what is this lovers we have the empress okay can be a choice libra taurus gemini sand energy again and the queen of pentacles for some of you this can be a choice between two very important people in your life you know can be a conflict between two people and you have to you're being forced to pick one right and these can be very two, two two very important people or two very important situations like work life and family family or lover lover or work life something which is very important for you and this choice is causing too much emotional struggle here because probably both the things are important and you have to let go of one right sometimes these things are very hard to pick more like strawberry or blackcurrant i love both i don't know which to pick <laughs> that kind of choice is here right we have the temperance and the temperance again so of course there will be healing things are getting better but that choice that uh, analyzing the proposal i will have to leave so many things if i want that particular thing in my life sacrifice kind of energy is bothering you now what is this news coming towards you knight of swords very very quick rushing towards you lovers yes again the choice is here capricorn definitely choices and you have to pick something i think you're picking up the right thing no matter how many things are available for you you're going to pick what seems the best right i think uh, out of a lot of coins here you're going to pick up the right one and you're going to walk out okay what is this ten of wands what is burdening now if you're getting this information i think this rash conversation can come your way and this is going to help you make the final call right final decision what is this ten of wands energy judgment yes now it's burdening because what you're picking is uh, probably seems to be the most important thing or the perfect thing at that time but there are other people who have expectations right i see judgment with the page of cups can be that you pick up one person and the other one is like no please i'm sorry forgive me for past and take me back that kind of energy can happen so something something can revive from ashes the moment you think that it's time to leave and it's time to get away i'm not uh, hoping for reconciliation or i'm not hoping for something blah 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 it's time to move on and let go of things draining the cups emotions that is the moment things are going to get revived it's like rising from the ashes let's let's talk about it again i'm sorry i'm thinking about you a lot lately i'm i'm specifically picking up that someone can text you uh, or contact you saying that uh, i was not thinking about the situation the way it's happening you know my outlook towards the situation is changing and that's why i'm sorry i'm thinking about you or the situation something like that a lot lately and that's why i want to change things here i want to make them right you know i still pick up a lot of indecisive energy but it's like this is a transformation happening this is the point where outlook towards the situation is changing but there's a big ego as well you know there's a huge ego expectations control emperor energy emperor with the empress right i am apologizing because i think it's the other way around but i still hold on to my point you know very stubborn yet very comforting at times it's like two different opinions contrast conflicting opinions but yet i'm thinking about you a lot that kind of energy what is this three of swords ace of pentacles ten of pentacles and the knight of swords so you will have to kill one bad option 
<laughs> to have the right one in your life this is so beautiful towards the end ace of pentacles and ten of pentacles let's get back together let's reconcile or simply let's work on it let's work on this new project let's let's work on this new idea it is going to have very fulfilling and long-term outlook Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, right? I think the confusion, the option is ending now, Capricorn. This is the point where your confusion is about to end, right? Whatever the past heartbreak was, some final decision is being made here and it is going to cause some emotional loss also. It's hard, I know. And Knight of Swords, you might feel very agitated. You, may, you might feel like, oh, I want to kill this person. Just that much anger. But then you have the Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. That is the right thing to do right now because probably the offer is not exactly what it what it appears like. You know, some some differences are there. It more appears like a pentacle, but behind the pentacle there are some hidden stuff, right? And probably you're skeptical about it. But uh, but 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 we have the Ten of Pentacles here, so. I see some very grounded thing happening. This can be something related to your long-term stability and happiness. So I think you're thinking about it, right? I want to have one advice. You can call it advice, energy message, or anything coming from the universe. Capricorn. Dove spirit, be peace. Beautiful. See, whatever happened lately, Capricorn, I see that a lot of stress was there on your mind, right? We also have Panther, reclaim your power. And all the situation resulted in so much trauma and emotional conflict in your life. I, I even saw a tower when I was shuffling for your energies. So it can be some friction that happened lately. This has, this has caused so much trauma, so much uh, irritation, that now you're coming to a point where you need peace and patience right temperance twice dove energy it talks about for some of you it does talk about reconciliation also but at the same time this is more about making peace in the situation you know living with someone with a lot of clash friction and uh, anger is not going to take the connection anywhere so this is the time you both bring in peace in the situation talk about it and bring some healing to the situation getting away from the conflict finding out some middle path and showing the white flag to each other right we also have reclaim your power emperor energy again i see some very strong decision making towards the end so but ultimately it's going to lead to ten of pentacles so these are the energies these are the messages for capricorn thank you so much for watching guys Bye bye